Basic training on how to is IQ. Lesson 225, 225, pointer tool. I'm going to grab my freehand tool first. But uh, this little booger here, booger, it's a thing that's in your nose that you pull out. I don't like the pointer tool. I told you that my two favorite tools are select tool and the freehand drawing tool. But the pointer tool, I hate. I hate, but we're going to learn it. Most people like it. Uh, when I click on it, look at that cute little bubble that it brings up, brings attention to things. Also, you will notice both for me as the teacher and the students that when they use it, their name will pop up as they use the tool. So let's look at the students, and I'm going to stay as the teacher, but let you see what the student sees. So. I come in here and you see my name is on there. Um, if it was one of the students, theirs would be on there. I want you right now to notice here. Here's a secret. If you give drawing control to several people, um, what, whoever's doing something on your board, a little message here in the bottom left hand corner, everybody can see, will say who is doing what, what tool they're using. But um, when I go off the edge, nothing happens funny here, but it does, It only works within your view, field of view within the whiteboard area. So if you need to show information or talk outside of the whiteboard area, you will have to use screen sharing. But here's the problem I want to show you. Most people use a, a common, where's my whiteboards? I'll get them. A common whiteboard. Okay. Now, Let's draw a line here of where the edge is at. This is the area that we're looking at, okay? Watch what happens when I use the pointer tool. I might be bringing out information, but let's say I drag it over to the edge by mistake. I'll go figure it's not going to do it. The uh, problem with the pointer tool is that it wants to center on whatever you're doing. It'll go off the edge of the screen even though on my view I'm over here working in the drawing. It changes the location. It wants to keep the active information on the tool. That is why I do not like the pointer tool. So anyway, um, Pointer tool is fine on almost anything that's pre-formatted. These other types of files that you bring in, they're fine. You want to draw attention to things um, using that. But um, for practical purposes and where most people have trouble with their classes, I just basically tell them do not use the pointer tool. Uh, but <laughs> you do what you want. I make enough mess. My problems, personally, I'll tell you right now, is that I use too many functions of the WizIQ Classroom. When you do jumping back and forth between videos and um, screen sharing and using all these tools, the, the platform is just unstable enough. It's not robust enough that it can cause a lot of problems in the classroom when you try to do too much also, which we will not do in this series, is if you depend on your recorded viewing of things, the more functions you use, particularly in these audio video things and screen sharings, the more things that you do and jump back and forth on, you are going to have some major issues with your recorded viewing. It does not replicate exactly. It, there's a good reasons why it does that and believe me you're not going to find anyone else's platform that does better but you really want to be careful about too much. Uh, keep it simple stupid. Kiss. Remember that. Alright so that's it for the pointer tool. Nice one but I suggest you stay away from it. Bye bye.